these, these classified reports that we keep hearing about that State Department has. Already, the seniors of the CIA and the FBI has clearly stated there is no critical good information, and yet the State Department clings to it. Let's remember, this is the same State Department that paid Chalabi $33 million to provide misinformation that led us into the war in Iraq in the first place. The bureaucrats of the State Department are serving Secretary Clinton no better than they served Secretary Colin Powell when they sent him to the United Nations with the information on weapons of mass destruction. And I have yet to figure out why the MEC is being placed and left on the terrorist list when Muqtada Sada and his Mahdi army is not on that terrorist list. Hundreds of Americans, to include two of my own, were killed by Mahdi Army, and yet the bureaucrats of this establishment can't get it through to them that they are terrorists and Muqtad al is not a friend of the United States. When our founding fathers built the Constitution, they put the legislative branch of government first because that represented the will of people. The executive came second to carry out that will. State Department wasn't even mentioned in the Constitution. And the judicial branch was mentioned, was stated third to ensure justice was done. Yet, the State Department has ignored the Congress. Recently, at congressional hearings, they were too busy to even send a representative. And they are now six months overdue in complying with the judicial branch. It's like they've become a law upon themselves and we've yet to see the State Department aggressively condemn the attacks of 2009 and 2011. If you want to see who the terrorists are, watch the videos. They're the ones wearing Iraqi army uniforms, killing innocent, unarmed people. We have three actions for solution. One, let's get the MEC off the terrorist list. They never should have been there in the first place. Two, let's have the mech secured by U.S. forces, and I am willing to put a uniform back, over, back on and go back over there and lead those forces. And let's move, Iraq, uh, let's move the Moshe Hattin out of Iraq to a secure location. To my friends at Camp Ashraf, I close with this message. We were together in the last decade. We, were to, we will be together in this decade. We will be together always. Thank you.